Ah, yes, Dead Air. Pretty much like uh, all these cards that are being uh, put into this top 10 list is the worst cards is Dead Air because they're not being played at all. But sometimes it's understandable some neutrals may not be played. When it comes to class cards though, it is kind of terrifying if you don't make a playable class card. Because uh, with one class you, you should be able to build tons of decks, right? There should be variety, so uh, class cards that fail are uh, kind of scary. We're going to look at top worst and best. Zeddy started with worst. Um, I'm not going to yet touch a video that doesn't exist and make my own version. I'll just wait for him to do the best. However, there's some stuff in the past, if you type in 10 worst, uh, this is actually, you know, a recurring video. Uh, so, uh, I'll be looking into those, actually. Uh, Zeddy haven't changed his style for, like, two years now. It seems... Uh, well, it's fun to be comfortable. But Hearthstone is not a very interesting game when most cards are unplayable or they have terrible design. And, actually, I will get angry. <sighs> yes. I will summon my inner Hulk. If I see that cards make absolutely zero sense, I think the audio, audio apocalypse is completely fine. It seems like they didn't fall into the most terrible traps besides summoning a six uh, mana beast that is a lifesteal cleave effect. But I like to call it Borklair. Alright, it's just straight up Borklair. If there's a cleave effect on a healthy minion, it becomes a perpetual, perpetual threat because it usually just loses like two health and clears most of the board, but it can continue doing that in the future if it survives, so it becomes a threat and potentially can just lock you out of the game. Uh, maybe it's gonna be one of the best cards top 10, but uh, I'm not sure. So uh, let's dive in. How are we gonna do this? I have no idea, by the way. I'll just use Discord and, uh, you know, Judgment. Hearthstone. I will take the terrible cards. Let's say, uh, I'll take maybe 50 cards. It shouldn't be that difficult. I want to spend a certain amount of time here. So, uh, I'm not sure if uh, we have to count sins on the card and the amount of changes we're going to make. Uh... I, I usually do this. In fact, because it seems like a very peculiar type of format, it goes right here. Gets bolded. Oh. Ah, yes, technical difficulties because uh, it's the first time I do this. You know. Amateur time, boys. Actually, this doesn't even apply either. You have to do this. Uh, for 50 and let's begin the way we're just gonna do this is we're gonna just name the effect because usually it is the effect that's gonna be changed but I will show you guys how changes are supposed to be made in general uh, if a change is being made you don't just type in it used to be five mana and now it's like four mana but then if you do that it was like one attack and now it's three attack and you would think like it there's no no big deal but look at this all right now it has plus two attack or even better plus uh or times three attack than it used to do. 
All right, this is my, my favorite thing. Instead of using percentages, I use uh, times. Because you can also divide things, all right? So times or divide. Uh, I very much prefer this uh, idea. These are very complicated ones, even though they look simple. Uh, just to get to that conclusion that you should be using that sort of notation is uh, is heartbreaking, let's put it that way, because it's very appropriate for Hearthstone. And if you have never watched my content, uh, you can't watch this either. It's You can only stare at thumbnails, all right? Don't touch, it's a museum. If you touch, you get teleported into, uh, I don't know, into a terrible place where bad things happen, you know, you will hear my voice, and it's a pretty, pretty bad stuff. Hearing a voice without a face? I'm probably generated by AI, which is also known as absolute insanity, or uh, also known as being not American. Anyways, um, let's uh, dive in. Ten. Oh, tough crowd. How... First of all, even the name sucks balls. Holy Jesus. We, we're starting off really badly. Oh my god, the judgment. The ju <laughs> okay, okay. So the first problem is outcast doesn't make sense. The body doesn't make sense if you don't get the effect. All right, what, what happens if you don't get the effect? Eh? You lose, right? I mean, uh, uh, Outcast is like hard enough already as it is. You can return your own minion, uh, which is always uh, a very nice thing. I would just, the easiest fix would just make it from three mana to two mana. Just like a sap, but now it has a little body. It's technically a demon. Maybe you can turn it into a two two as well. Uh, it's it's kind of reminiscent of the one drop that used to do that, but this one can a uh, rogue one drop, right? And obviously sap. Uh, anything else we can do? Like the name sucks. I don't understand what the picture is about. Like everything sucks about this. This card sucks so bad. I just want to delete it. You know, the chopping block, boys. That's how difficult it is. I want to make sure that the card comes out not just clean, not just playable, but like literally perfect. Literally goddamn. It is It is one of those cards that is trying to get itself clean, which is always, you know, a miracle. I have to stare at miracles all the time. I'm like, oh, it, I, I was meant to make this video after all. I have to clean a demon and make it actually fun. So... Uh, we can clean it, but we also have to add the juice, you know, the, the spice, if we have extra space for this. So Tough Crowd already sucks as a name. I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna change the picture. It's completely impossible, but we definitely have to consider it. All right. So Tough Crowd is, uh the name i think uh we can leave it sort of that way what i'm gonna do is just add this and technically that's italic so the way i have to program myself is to control i and um tough crowd tough crowd i have no crowd though it's it sucks man and also, I just return people to their hands, which is so nasty, bro. The funny thing is, you can return a creature to your hand, and if it has outcast, you can, you know, play it immediately. So I think that should be the flavor. We turn this to a two-mana creature. Uh... Basically saying that we're gonna do uh, how do oh one one 
if we want to go from uh, three to two, we need 1.5. All right. I, I know it's, it's uh, crazy, crazy stuff over here, but you gotta understand. This is what we do to the mana. This is one, one third of the mana is gonna be gone. Now, uh, we need to deal with the effect. I would technically prefer instead of doing this because the numbers are kind of like small, right? If we had like crazy numbers, like 75 attack or 62 health or whatever, and then we have to talk about maybe not not the number changes because the number changes don't really make any sense. Then we can use the notation here, you know. But in this case, technically it is good to just do uh, three to two mana, something like that. It's way simpler and you really understand what the hell is going on finally. And I, I kind of want to use this for other reasons as well. We could use this, but it actually looks kind of ugly. There's an even better thing, which is just uh, summoning a diamond. You can see how many struggles I have, man. I'm, I'm dying here. Or just using Mr. Beast logo. It's always uh, good luck, you know. Uh, it's just you, you never know where you actually need luck to begin with. So I'll, I'll just use diamonds overall, but not here. It's, it's, it's a sacred thing here. All right. Three to two mana, and the effect is gonna. I'm gonna add an effect on top of whatever this is. Uh, outcast or combo minion costs two less. All right, that's it. It seems like a very nice flavor to uh, to combo out some other cards. Obviously, it synergizes with itself, so we have to say, uh, you know, the nasty thing other. Uh, or another, I don't know. It's still a question of, like, if that makes any sense. I would just, like, turn it into a battle cry, obviously. But it seems fine. It would be even crazier if we turn this outcast or combo. You know, that would be... That would be even crazier. Uh, but... Do we like this more, or just outcast or combo? Because we can do whatever we want, alright? You must understand. Anything at all. And outcast or combo was never done. Two less. I think it's fine. We can move on to the next one. Spend a lot of time. It really helped elevate the deck. At number nine, we have a card that I thought would see some play and be good, and so far not so much. Speaker Stomper, the four. <sighs> oh, you want to read? Four, four, tradable, neutral minion, battle cry. Enemy spells cost two more next turn. It is what a else? Two percent of. Okay, sh shut. Speaker Stomper. Oh, I don't like that. That's annoying. Speaker. Her spells, uh. Something you have to speak. Oh my god. So you get the idea. I guess we... Uh, uh, we can sort of do one more card, but I will start speedrunning and just documenting my uh, finished uh, ideas. Alright, so th this is like the amount of changes we make. Clearly. What do we need to change about this card? Uh, 
everything seems to be like fine, right? But it's kind of annoying. Be the best thing to do is just lock a spell. You just very simply just lock the next spell that they're trying to play. So it's a very, very easy fix. Next, uh, it's a completely different change. Next spell. You're, uh, I would, I would even like to, hmm, fuck, fuck it. Next spell, your opponent plays cost three more. Technically, two more for for the sake of like not breaking the flavor of the text. But uh, see, the problem is like you're sort of like blocking a lot of spells all at once. But you don't really have to, I don't think. Um, I think this is just completely fine. It's just a little thing you can do. The problem is we have power creep. All right. So we have to just uh, understand this card is kind of goddamn useless. So we just have to add rush. All right. We just... We just if a card seems uh, underpowered, we can always just add rush to it. It's the easiest thing. Tradable and rush, man. Why rush? Well, uh, your opponent will not be able to answer your creature, and your creature will trade into something, very likely. So your opponent now has a threat, and has very limited resources to actually answer the threat, unless they had tremendous amount of tempo. I think it's completely appropriate to add, also add Rush to the Stomper. Alright. Alright, next thing. We can complain all we want about Hearthstone cards, but if we don't actually put in the work, well, it's gonna suck. <laughs> it's gonna suck. Blizzard will have to decide. And we all hate Blizzard, so uh, let's just collectively continue hating Blizzard instead of uh, sucking a dick that appears out of nowhere and says, oh, you hate Blizzard so much. You Don't worry about it. We will fix it. Who? Who knows, right? Who knows? A dick appears and uh, says that it will do something for you. Gina, and, and, yeah, this is uh, 18 or above, my friend's channel. Not for, not for children and probably not even for young people. You have to basically have a beard to enter my channel <laughs> and, and my mindset. Otherwise, it will feel like error rape, at least. Remixed Musician. All right. We're going to remix him even more. Even though I like the card. But, you know, the power creep is so high that we have to align ourselves for proper... For proper cards, not not like this. This is garbage. But this is like the hardest thing to actually uh, fix, because it already feels like it's it's somewhat playable enough. It has like lethal. Uh, the thing is, I don't even want to touch it because it just feels so bad to try and attack this. Like gains extra effect. But we have to attack the whole concept because we can do anything. And I have to show you guys that I do not give up when I see something that I don't like, especially gains extra effect in your hand that changes each turn. This is probably the greatest uh, sin Hearthstone has ever committed, is where your card doesn't actually say what it does anymore. It just says garbage. You can literally replace this with... Uh, I am a stupid card. Please kill me. Never add me to your deck each turn. All right. So, so really, the question is, uh, what do we do with this? And uh, it's called rush. Well, it already has rush. It just. Uh, 
rush and adapt. Here you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm just bringing adapt back. It, it's trying to get remixed. I don't know. It's going to get an effect. Adapt could be anything. But we could even spice this even further. We could specify what adapt, what type of adapt effect it's supposed to be, right? Yeah, so we have Divine Shield, uh, Wind Fury or something, Lifesteal. Um, so maybe like keyword related, because some, some adapt effects like give you attack and health and death rattle. Uh, but this one is just going to be just straight up keyword adaptation that uh, doesn't contain rush in this case. Just some very basic keywords. I'm not sure which ones I'm missing. I really don't care. Uh, Remix Musician just got remixed a second time for some reason. If that makes any sense. Like this, this amount of text makes no fucking sense. Oh, it changes every turn. You get a thing every turn. Like, adapt was actually nice because adapt means you get to pick from three choices like you usually do with these garbage effects. Instead, you're just, like, rolling the dice in your hand and while you're reading the card before you actually put it in your deck, your eyes start bleeding and your mind starts making popcorn for no reason. I didn't ask for popcorn. Uh, plagiarizer. All right. Whew. So much work, guys. So much work. But the fun, the fun part is, I'm doing this sort of work, but then you still have to program it and convince people that it's a good change. Basically, go to the bar with them, stab them with a knife, and say, I will only heal you three points if you add this card with this specific text. And you still have to explain what that means and show them that you make YouTube videos and they will ask you why you make so many YouTube videos. So I'm basically doing 10% of the work that is actually required for Blizzard to actually do anything about it. So even if you show Blizzard my my stuff, nothing will happen, all right? Trust me. Trust me, Ben Brode is not gonna flip in his grave properly. Oh snap, am I right? Oh snap. Uh, plagiarizer. God damn it, the names. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> plagiarizer. Rizar. It's like. Uh, play. Plaque. Charizard. There you go. Fixed it. Very easy. So it's also a dragon, by the way. Just just so you know. Now also a dragon. Because we can do whatever you want. We have to make some memes too, all right? <laughs> it's also a dragon now. Um, get a copy of the top card of your opponent's deck. Um, how can we spice this up, right? Uh, I mean, we, we started with... Uh, How much space do we have? Not a lot. And this is why this is supposed to be like, uh, I don't know, man. This is so annoying. Something like that should be a keyword, but this wasn't used for the first time as it often is. How do we deal with this? My idea is to turn the card into a murloc if it gets played 
But it's so difficult to, like, say that. Um, th the coolest thing... We can just completely replace this. Dredge for your opponent. And get a copy. Of that card, basically. Okay, maybe it's not a dragon. It's the fun is... The fun is gone. How? Gia Rizar, play Gia Rizar. So fucking stupid. Get a copy of that card. <sighs> Here we go. Let's not forget the R's. <sighs> I mean, Charizard is, is almost there. We, we just added a D in the end. Play Charizard. All right. Dredge for your... I think that that's, that's so lovely, dude. That's so lovely. <laughs> Nobody knows that. Then you get to the pick what your opponent gets next, and you get the card out of an actual pool of cards in your opponent's deck. Uh, bottom and you know the, the cards you also get to know the cards that your opponent has in the bottom this is the coolest card all of a sudden it's the coolest card ever isn't it like crazy bro it's so cool i'm going to copy the top card of your opponent's deck in in one point opponent's hand and their deck it's just like okay it's not bad. that's kind of sad the first one being a card that we were all very this fifth um, the first oh, one introduction. being a card that we were all very excited about, Fanatum, Lord of the Opera, a 30 mana, 15-15, Taunt, Lifesteal. This is clearly the stupidest card they have created. Oh my god. Fanatum. Alright, whatever. Lord of Opera. <coughs> Opera GX. Very, very, this video is very sponsored right now. You can feel the sponsorship just leeching off your wallet. All right. Look, look how leechy I am right now. Look how leechy I am. Your wallet was like this big, and now it's this big. See? That's what happens. Bad things happen with Opera GX. In fact, Opera is just gonna steal more of my wallet. Hey, stop it. Stop it, Opera. <laughs> what is wrong with you? That is so illegal. Obviously, Zeddy is gonna get his uh, fair share, alright? We'll see. Maybe I, I shouldn't be turning Hulk mode, but it, sometimes it gets a little bit weird. Like this, this picture right there pisses me. It makes no sense. What, what is that? Lord of the Opera also knows how to write stuff? Shut the- what, what- why is he so evil looking? I don't get it, man. It's annoying. Lord of the Opera GX makes much more sense. So how do we fix this, right? Uh, obviously we add Rush to the creature, right? Um, I think the coolest thing is... Yeah... Is to summon to actually make it summonable. Thirty-two, eight mana. Um, uh, we we keep taunt life steal. Uh, what was that? Hmm. We we have to like go backwards, almost cards and. All right. Fifteen to thirty attack and health. God, come on, man! I don't have space for this shit. 
And that's why we have a special hero power. But we can only use it on very horrible cards. Extending our reach. Um, uh, loses attack and health. Basically battle cry, right? Same keys. I probably just have to say it one more time. Taunt, lifesteal, whatever. You can keep that. Uh, but I also have to add these things. Give myself a column in. Loses attack and health for each card in the deck. Very simple. Could potentially win the game if you have an empty deck. Uh, we have seen stuff like that before, but this card can be just be removed. You know. If it had, like, magic shield, it would be so much more powerful. And technically we could give that. But I don't have enough space for that, so uh, you'll have to suck it up. Buttercup, but you you now are a playable card. Isn't that crazy? For eight mana, everyone will want to play this thing. It has lifesteal taunt. It's playable now. Maybe maybe the attack and health is a little bit too high. Let's see you have 15 cards left. It will be at 15 attack and health. Uh so uh, we we can probably bump it down to 25. You know, simplify, but it would still max out at 25 uh, with the, the Jailer or whatever. But w you can't play with the Jailer, I just realized. There's no point. There's no point in... It literally just resets the game. It's kind of fun. I don't know. Let's put it that way. The main thing, the only way to... And that's just not a reliable strategy in the current metagame. At number five, we're starting the top five here with another dual class card. This one, Warlock Mage, Fiddle Fire Imp, a three mana, three two demon. This is probably the worst one to deal with because it's so simple. But I already have a solution to this, so it's going to be also very boring for me. Fiddle Fire Imp. All right. Interesting. <sighs> so basically you get two cards. Two cards. Uh, I would prefer... You, like, they, they really try to, like, mix Mage and Warlock, but it's already an Imp. So it just has to have a mage effect. That's it. You don't have to invent so many things within the invention of the thing. I don't even know, man. What does that mean? Like, if you already have an imp that belongs to the warlock class, the rest belongs to the mage. Figure out what the mage wants to do with the effect, basically. Because you already get the imp and cards. You know, that's a warlock thing to do. Uh, battle cry. Get two fire spells. Uh, any class. I don't care. How does it say? Add. To your hand! Fucking get, bro! Holy Jesus. Oh my god, man. Just get! You you get two fire spells. Shut the fuck up, man. Add to your hand. Uh, pick up two fire spells. Add them to your inventory. You can have them in your hand if you want. But if you don't want, you can give it to your friend. 
Maybe he will double it and give it to the next person, but it's up to you. All right? And that would be the full, you know, explanation of uh, add to your hand. Like, add to your hand is like split apart. It's the worst thing I've ever seen, bro. All right, evil. Exercising demons is how we call it. And uh, on top of that, you can never have enough of goddamn spell damage. Let's go, baby. All right, I can, I can simplify. Damage plus one, I don't care. I want things to look nice for the video too. All right, all right. We're getting somewhere, aren't we? Number seven. Bow cry at a random fire mage and fire warlock spell to your hand there. And also the body's terrible. And also warlock fire. Your body's terrible. Your spells are not great with only like three being serves almost no purpose in standard funnel kick the one man a priest druid card that is in one percent of there's a very interesting way to fix funnel kick and you make it like very very interesting to play uh, i'll show you a very simple Live hack, basically. So we're gonna keep this. Restore three health to minion and its neighbors. Same restore. But... Uh, get mana crystal if... Uh, Hmm. After three overheals, I would even like do like four overheals to make it more spicy. But three is fine, so you can uh, have three minions, or whenever you just do the the three overheals. How about that? Get uh, obviously empty mana crystal, whatever. Uh. You watch your step, Empty Mana Crystal. I've, I've seen you many times around here. Stupid Mana Crystal. I want to, like, shorten it and stuff. Too tall! Max has a 41.9% deck win rate. I reviewed 3,600 times. God damn it, dead air. Let, let... Read it. Two mana death fight card. It's a... Man, he has to cut himself a bunch of times. Cross what the hell? Cross in on a holy rune spell. I've never seen Zeddy glitched out so much. Sucks in standard so far. At number three, we have Dead Air, the two mana death fight card. It's a frost and an a. Oh my god, he's glitching so badly. <laughs> Holy shit. Destroy your undead. Resummon them. Oh my god. Uh, I could I could even make it a, a little bit more interesting. But the best way to just deal with this, like dead air, all right. We know we're not gonna goddamn play any of this dead air shit simply because of colors of Bugatti don't match very well, do they? So basically, non-matching colors of Bugatti is a, is a no-go zone for me. This is terrible. I would say, like, uh, you, you gotta pick one. Technically, it feels like both of them are combined here. Uh, but it's best to, like, pick one. I think if you want to do both of them, you have to, like, f have freeze effects or some weird shit like that. Like, dealing damage to your opponent. Uh, maybe, maybe the green stuff is better. All right? Only green rune is required. 
and we have to uh, we have to still do something with the effect i s strongly believe um destroy your undead what what is Holy that again? i need help spell destroy your undead resummon this is in 1.1% of decks is a deck win rate of 41% has been played 3600 times but when played has a 55% played win rate so the card's not even that bad honestly in that deck the, the deck's just bad which is like that whole like cage head otk deck which is just that's so annoying reliable enough, but people like playing it as you can see by the play numbers but overall yeah just getting your undead back uh you compare to unholy frenzy in a lot of ways worse but this is more of like you just do that you can draw with like your three minute three four as well do things like that and there's shenanigans with it but overall so far that's so lame, right? Like, this is such a lame card. We summon them, technically it heals them. I don't know, man. This is so weird. We can make this a lot more interesting, basically. Uh, how about just just completely rework this? For the rest of the game, which is supposed to be its own keyword, uh, and I will call it passive. Fuck me, bro. Passive. Uh, undead. Give two corpses. Instead of one, or just uh, give one, uh, one extra corpse. There you go. I mean, I, I'm more contempt with that idea. It's just there has to be a lot more ways to spend corpses in that sense, but that's about it. And passive simply means so for the rest of the game. Uh, I mean, it's equals. There you go. Bring me a three, four as well. It's definitely this video is definitely me tripping quite a bit. <laughs> I hope you guys are tripping too, because you decided to watch the thing. We have two cards left. I'll keep maybe Riza for last. We need to figure out how to deal with this card. If we need to change anything, is the question. And probably we do. Druid minion. Popular pixie. Two mana, two, three. Choose one minion. Refresh your hero power. Or your next one cost zero. Two, three. Choose one minion. Refresh your hero. Choose one minion, let's go! Let's choose one minion! Fuck yeah! Popular Pixie. Let's choose one minion, guys. Fuck yeah. Choose a minion. <laughs> one minion. When it attacks... Your hero uh, activates your hero power gets activated uh, or when it attacks it activates 
your hero power? Is that better? Still not good enough. Jesus Christ. I'll just take away a space. Because I can do that. Here you go. He said choose one minion. He doesn't know how to read. What an idiot. Now I don't know what it does anymore. It's so much cooler when there's an actual thread you can create on the board that keeps activating the hero power. Fuck yeah, bro. I love that. Oh, I, I can like... I can like do this. Because this is way uglier than Chose. Chose one minion. It's the chosen one. Ah, oh, I love this so much. It's such a fucking... <laughs> and finally... The Rhythm Dancer Riza. We don't need... We don't need Riza, we just say... Uh, rhythm Dancer. Alright, that's it. That's the big deal, right? After a hero attacks, like, why is that the idea behind the card? So it doesn't come back too many times. Um, it's it's still kind of like like weird. Uh, this is like super difficult to like fix. I don't know, man. I would like want to actually experience this card, but I can't really craft it. Ah, return this to your hand. One cool effect is like, it could be immune and when your hero attacks, it attacks into the object. I think it's like a very simple solution, right? Uh. Rush, immune, attack, uh, and then uh, attacks whatever your hero attacks. A card like this already exists in Demon Hunter. But Rogue has more weapons, more choices, more little daggers uh, to attack with, so it's cooler, you know. Does it have to cost one mana all of a sudden? Uh, also attacks whatever your hero attacks. Sound, sound like... Oh... God damn it. I want to make it... Come on! You don't even let me do that? Jesus Christ, man. Well, let's pull that blue square. Also attacks whatever your hero attacks. That's it. <sighs> what a wonderful thing. We can uh, click on another video, because why not? Whatever. Or spells. Let's redesign. It's very easy to like criticize. But you have to like redesign. I've never seen like redesigns like Trump from Hearthstone, it does care about like design stuff, but I've never like seen redesigned cards that already exist. Never, like literally never. I've heard suggestions of nerfs, but I've never heard redesigns for some reason. Isn't that crazy, right? That's uh, 
uh, something I'm looking forward to playing around with as a priest player. Including a card like Purify on the list. Purify, actually, despite it being notoriously like the bad priest card, like the Unicorn priest card, whatever, back in the day, it saw play in Silence Inner Fibers. It saw a little bit of play. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. So, we are going to go over 10 other cards <laughs> okay, that are okay. even worse than Purify. And you know how that's bad in that demon. And that card basically sees no play other than like in greedy, ticketous lineups. This card. Ooh, spicy. Dark Possession. Let's go. See what we can do with that. Yeah, just look looked back. Like the coolest thing is adapt keyword. Adapt should come back if that's what you want to do to random cards. But you should allow players to decide how the creature adapts instead of waiting waiting in hand. That's the stupidest idea. Oh, if it just waits in hand, it will give me the thing. But it in actuality, just you're just rolling dice over and over again by waiting it's the stupidest thing you don't want to wait in card games because you lose when you wait 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 guys do you hear that my hero portrait exploded because i waited what the hell i don't i'm not even playing hearthstone right now and it's still happening so uh deal damage to a friendly character obviously it's better to play demonic studies, but let's change that. Obviously, we could just like deal damage to anything. Just deal two damage. Discover a demon. Uh can we make it even crazier? Dark possession. Ooh. What if, what if we turn something into a demon? Isn't that crazy? I think that that would be a pretty cool thing. Uh, deal three damage. Transform. If the creature die, no. If if the creature dies, then. It got possessed by a demon and it just died. It just killed itself. But uh, deal three damage. Uh, I want like minion damage to M. I think I think it's very easy to understand too. To M. <laughs> To a minion, bro. Right? We have characters, minions, and then... Enemy hero, I guess. Or enemies, or whatever. Enemy characters. <laughs> Some bullshit like that. It's, in this case, to a minion. To anything. Yeah. If it survives... Transform to... A demon... Same cost. God damn it, bro. There you go. Same cost, no big deal. I don't think you need to discover anything. Uh, it's just... It's still just a one-mana spell that can deal three damage to a minion. I'm okay with that, bro. I'm okay. And it has an upside, because power creep, you know. It has to be versatile, so it has to deal damage to more than just friendly characters for some bullshit reason. Like, it already makes no sense. Alright. Does Dark Possession look cool? No, it does not look cool. It makes me angry. Hulk mode. Also, I'm angry because of the adapt effect not being used anymore. Come on, man, Adapt was cool. Card was just... Finder's Keepers, boys. Card, can you believe it? A Shaman card. A Finder's Keepers, one mana spell that would overload you one and allow you to discover another overload card. So you would have to pay a ridiculous premium. You're paying one mana plus another mana in overload to discover a card that will make you have to spend more mana on that card as well. Okay. Finders Keepers. Keepers. 
I mean, this is, this has such a simple and elegant solution that uh, everyone can agree with, I think. But it's gonna be so goddamn boring because Zeddy just read the card. Almost properly, he said overload one first. First you overload. And then you discover. What an, what an evil person. So, uh, discover an overload card. It loses the overload effect. And you don't get overloaded. Alright. It's just the simplest thing. Let's move on to the next one. I get to buck your tunnel trod or what? Surrender to madness. Three mana pre spell. You just. Aw, oh, this is so cool. This is such a cool card. It just needs a, a little bit of nerf. I mean, buff. Obviously, it's nerfable, but. I think we, we need to buff it right now. What is that? Surrender to madness? I have a much, much better idea, which is the craziest thing. Uh, also, we have, like, new keywords, like Finale, right? Finale is a new keyword. Uh, I think... Very interesting thing. Passive... Overheal... Oh. Every minion has overheal and uh, finale gain uh, plus one plus one it's so simple right and it's so elegant as well for three mana now for the rest of your game everything gets overheal and finale which is still very like a small tiny effect but it just so fucking sweet I love this shit. It has nothing to do with madness, though. Uh, but, uh... I don't give a fuck, okay? I don't give a fuck. Surrender to... Ma I don't know. Surrender to madness, technically you want to, like, lose mana crystals. But I'm just focusing on, like... Okay, give all your minions in the deck plus two plus two. It's technically doing absolutely nothing for for a very long time even after you lose all those mana crystals like this is insane card just just do that but how can we like turn it into like surrender to madness sort of effect right uh i'm i'm not sure see the the funny thing is the madness happens when there's so many things to think about, when you're trying to finale all the time, and when you know that your hero power got upgraded, so you could potentially heal, overheal your creature, and you still have to, like, know how much health the creature has. It is madness! This is so awesome! You will never remember, truly, whether the creature has been damaged by one health, or by two health, or by three health, so you will never really know when, when you're overhealing. Especially when it gains plus one health, you will never know whether the creature is going to be overhealed or not. It's just the craziest thing. And making Finale work every single turn to just gain, to squeeze a little bit of advantage and just remember the passive effect itself. Now that's, that's madness. I think uh, we can finish this uh, review, like... Or judgment, rather. The ultimate judgment. Mmm! Hammer the shit out of here. Oh my god. Can you feel the juice, man? The juice flowing? <sighs> yes. Uh, this whole video was uh, a sponsorship of Mr. Beast Burgers. The juice flows, but only when you surrender to madness. Thank you guys for watching. Hearthstone could be a much better game. If, uh, if I knew how to play, you know, I, I don't know how to play. How do I change the card, the text on the card? How do I do that? So I'm, I'm trying my best, guys. I'm trying my best. I don't know if it is going to work, but I'm trying my best. Um, 
Well, we reviewed like 13 cards, and we probably can do a little bit faster and better work, accelerate a little bit. But it's going to be like less impactful because we already did it for the first time, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We hit an hour. I, if I don't hit an hour, I, I, I can't put ads on my videos, you know. Some like Mr. Beast burgers, super juicy. I can't add it unless I hit an hour. You must understand. That's how life works. Anyways, bye.